What's up guys, the Blue Hedgehog here. Welcome back to another episode of my F1 2021 My Team Career Mode. Race number 7 today for the Canadian Grand Prix of Season 3. If you guys did miss the previous episode of a disastrous Spanish GP that we had, then be sure to go check that video out before you see this one. It was a very underwhelming performance from us. We really just didn't have the pace in Spain and unfortunately we just got dunced really badly and now we're having some eh, and all that yada 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 so that's wonderful so but uh anyway as we get into this weekend's race here in Canada Montreal ale, 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 ale. Oh wait, let's see what we can do. Ah, uh, well, that was a fail. Hmm. So, yeah. Probably just... Probably if we can just have a good race here in Canada. Uh, we're still leading the Drivers' Championship, but it's not by much. Actually, not Canada, Azerbaijan, or not Spain, I'm sorry, Azerbaijan. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. If you haven't seen the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, I don't know why I say Spain. This is what happens when you haven't done a my team race in a long time, so. My b I'm having one of those episodes. So if you haven't seen Azerbaijan, Spain wasn't our good race, but Azerbaijan was a good race. We actually won that race. So, all right, qualifying's done. Now we can get the race pace. All right. So, if you haven't seen Azerbaijan, Spain wasn't a good race, but Azerbaijan was. We actually won um, Baku because we pitted. Well early, we were in Mercedes' window as far as the pit stop is concerned. And when both Mercs already pitted, we came out ahead, and we ended up winning the Canadian, or winning the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, not the Canadian Grand Prix. We're at Canadian Voils. Come on, mate. I seriously need to get my head in the game. Either that, or I've been on a weird sleeping schedule that I can't get off of. Okay, so. Next race is France. Hopefully, I don't derp. But uh, like I said, it's been a while since I've done a my team race. So, all right, let's see what we can do here in Canada this week. Canada is one of my favorite tracks. We've won here before in Canada on a couple of occasions. We did okay in the first two seasons of my team, other than season one. I think season one, I think season two, we end up winning, so. Let's see, we got, what, 1,250, 1,460. We also got a uh, level three upgrade, I think, on one of the departments. Now we're getting ready to qualify. Qualifying is really going to be critical, because if we end up getting through to Q3 on the medium tire, we might have just done our chances of just saving a set of soft tires because we might be on mediums for quite a while because there is rain in the forecast for the end of the race or during the race and then it's supposed to get dry towards the end of the Grand Prix so whatever tire you're on you got to take advantage of so now let's head off to Ale Alia Monia Canada qualifying yeah, that was weird. There's our teammate. Of course, we out, got out-qualified. We actually made it to Q3, but we also wrecked, um... We ruined a good set of softs, so we ended up having to use the set of softs that we made it into Q3. Hopefully, we don't have to worry about that. Of course, next race is also Renault's home race, the engine in the back of this car. 
So, welcome to Montreal. Glad to be back here in Canada. Hopefully they will have a race this year. In real life. Ah, shit. Yeah, I ran a little wide, and when I did that, I broke the wing. Shit, I keep hitting the damn wall. What? Okay, car's getting tight. Now I broke the front wing, and it's really hampering my speed. We're gonna probably be P22 when we get this lap done, and now we're over. Now we've just missed our corner. Now we just lost the entire front wing. We've ran wide, so we're just trying to get this lap finished. This car is like on rail. Well, there's our another warning for corner cut. One more, we're gonna get a Wow, three seconds off the pace with that damage. That's really not good. That's gonna be a three minute repair. Yeah, didn't want to damage a wing and we're already behind the eight ball. Alright. And just as I expected, we are P22, but we're going to be running, we're going to go for a second lap on these tires. Yeah, there was my first mistake, as I jumped the curb going down into, into the uh, champion's wall, as I say good morning to Steven. That was a quick turn. That will be a absolute improvement by three seconds. We've only got two laps of fuel left. I know we need to get into queue number two, but I can say that first lap will be a throw away. This will take us out of the uh, get us out of the danger zone. So personal best in sector two. Wanted to use a set of mediums to get into queue number three. This is where I got a corner cut. One more and I get an invalid lap time, so I need to nail this corner really good, and I did. And that will put us P2. Behind Carlos Sainz and the Ferrari. I really don't feel like we need it. We need to beat Sainzi's lap time, but <clears throat> either way, we we will be getting through to queue number two. Running a little slower, but that first lap, that second lap was a lot better than our first lap. Our first lap, we just got a little rusty like that right there. Just made a little mistake through that right, that left hander. Seven tenths in. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and box this lap. Okay, we can take you this lap. Just don't feel like going out and doing another lap. Yep, so we'll abort that lap. But that lap we just got us to P number two is what will do us a lot of good. Mm. 
So now we're gonna more likely be safe to get into queue number two. Thirty, forty-six. If we go onto the medium tire, we'll start on the mediums. So we're up by three tenths, but I just want to get ahead, get us into queue number two. We're not going to go out for another lap. That's for damn sure. Second Gilles Villeneuve. Of course, we're running the C3, Our C4, C5. So one minute, nine point two. I want to check that weather. When is the rain going to come? Of course, we'll start cloudy, then it's going to get partly cloudy for a little bit. Okay, so the rain will be like 30 minutes into the race. We're top of the speed trap, 345. Then it'll get heavy, then it'll be hour. light rain, and then towards the end of the race, it's going to get dry. Really critical to see what tires we are going to be on to get into Q number two, to get into Q three. That's the tire we have to start the race on. I want to get on this tire, the yellow medium tire, so I can get. And, um, uh, both Mercs got into Q number two. The two Williams drivers got the same with the two Alpha Tauris. They brought some upgrades. And here's the shocker. Lance, Lance Stroll is out of qualifying by a little, by a tenth. But Stroll out qualifies Juan Yu Zhou. Latifi out qualifies Giovinazzi. We'll be moving over to uh, Formula E in the F1 2022 career, so we will not see Giovinazzi anymore. And Schumacher out-qualifies Mesbin. Wow, Mick out-qualified Alfa, Alfa Romeo and an Aston Martin. That's pretty fair play to him. And for anyone asking, will there be a season four of this career mode? The answer is going to be no. Let's go on to the medium tire. I want to get on this medium tire. If we get a good lap, we can try to get into queue number three on the mediums. And that's when that tire will come into play. So we're going to go on to the medium tire. I figured if we get uh, if we get through to Q3 on the medium tire, we might have a very good advantage over the drivers that will have to pit on that soft red tire. See what our first lap time is going to be. Puts us fourth quickest. Two laps of fuel remaining.
That puts us P5 at the moment. Alonzo the P6. Fingers crossed, that's the tire we're going to get into queue number three. Go for a gamble. I don't want to see our name. Oh, we had some underbody damage. Probably why we lost some time. We've had to spend time repairing the damage to the car. And we are still seventh quick. So far, our fastest lap is a 1.9.5. Boy, if we get onto the medium tires, we're going to have a huge advantage. Hamilton's on mediums. Probably do one more lap on these tires and then we'll go onto the soft tires for Q3. God damn it. A few left. Nope, did not improve, and we could be in danger. Did we get into Q three? Yes, is the answer. Woo! By milliseconds. So we just got lucky. 
Of course, our teammate out-qualified us in Q2, but it doesn't matter. We're going through on the medium tire. Who is out after the session? Let's see. Russell out-qualifies Lungard. Gasly out-qualifies Sonoda. Lonzo out-qualifies Ocon. So both the Williams, Alpines, and Alpha Tauris are out of Q number two. Well, they get the free choice of tires. We go. We got through what we need to get through, and we're going to have a huge advantage going into the race on in a little bit. Now, where are we going to start? We're not going to be on that soft tire, so... Let's do our first run on this tire. Save me a set of softs. Save the best tire for Q number three. Now it's the run to the pole in this Q3 knockout phase. Alright, let's see what this first lap's going to be. Damn it. We also got a new patch today that the new Arav of scheme could be our next scheme should we have gone to season number four. Six. Not a good first lap. Someone's just posted a faster time. You've been dropped to the fourth row, P7. Now we've been out qualified by our teammate as of right now. P10 because Carlos Sainz went to the top of the timesheets. Damn it. I had a good I had a good chance to improve until that last turn. Start at 10th in Baku.
We've only got two laps of fuel left. Personal bus in sectors one and two. Mm, don't need a bad lap. Our P4. Well, it nearly touched the wall, and if it was not close, it was really close. Just 30 seconds left in the session. Nope, didn't beat it. Gave it a valiant effort, didn't beat it. Good chance. With qualifying finished, it's time to remind ourselves our top three. Sainz, Bottas, and Lando Norris. With qualifying wrapped up, we now have our grid line up for the big race tomorrow. Be sure to join us then for what will no doubt be a fantastic race. We out-qualified Aiken. We also out-qualified Verstappen and Hamilton. We actually out-qualified both of the Red Bulls. How about that? Fair play to Sainz. Who out qualifies Leclerc. Bottas out qualifies Hamilton. Lando out qualifies Ricardo. And of course, we out qualified our teammate. But we're ahead of both of the Red Bulls. That's a little surprising. Good day today. Let's have your take on That was a good day. Who would you say is your biggest rival at the moment? Checo. Your qualifying pace didn't put you at the front of the grid. Will this be a problem tomorrow? How do you think this team will be feeling after that result? Great. Well, that's everything. All right. Let's
let's see where this is going to put us here in pace wise tomorrow. Or going into the race. But fair play, fair play, fair play to us. Not sure why your teammate lost a lot of pace. That's probably because either we were on the medium tires. I believe we're also going to be the second highest of the drivers who have gone to the medium tire. Because that would put us in net P1 because we would be leading the people on medium. All right, is there any upgrades we can do while we're before we get to the race? Okay, none to that one. This one, I believe. Oh, that's a minor one. That's an ultimate front downforce. That will help us on all the downforce tracks like Monza and them. We basically almost maxed out durability. We got to max out the power train. I think the max out. Let's get into the Canadian Grand Prix at Circuit Gilles Villeneuve in Montreal. Hello and welcome to the Ile Notre Dame once again for what promises to be another incredible Canadian Grand Prix at a fiercely competitive circuit where pole position can often be decided by less than a tenth of a second. We'll be seeing top speeds of around 210 miles an hour here at the Circuit Gilles Villeneuve with around two thirds of the lap taken at full throttle. High speed chicanes spell potential danger, especially at the infamous Wall of Champions. And watch out for overtaking into the hairpin and the final chicane. Alongside me to discuss all the action today is Anthony Davidson. Thanks for joining us, Ant. And tell me, you were down in the pit lane earlier. How do you think the track conditions are today? Well, it's looking a bit cold out there, if I'm honest. These tyres have quite a narrow operating window in terms of the temperatures they need to extract the best grip. So with a cold track surface, it's going to be harder to keep those temperatures up, which will lead to lower grip and maybe more mistakes. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. An immense lap from Carlos Sainz yesterday puts him in pole position, and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Norris, Thomas, Lewis Hamilton, and Verstappen, Leclerc, Ricardo, Ocon, George Russell, and Gasly, Sonoda, Lundgaard, Lance Stroll and Nicholas Latifi, Mick Schumacher, Giovinazzi, Joe and Nikita Mazepin. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. All right, to recap, actually, we're the highest of the drivers that are on mediums because science is on softs. So, let's see. Everybody else behind us, they're all on softs. Here we go. Five red lights and ahead of the drivers. It's lights out the way we go in Montreal. It's a tentative start from everybody. Lando Norris got a thrill of a start, and we got ton. We've gotten ton. As we body slammed the two Mercedes, and now we're leading, and Norris has taken the lead. As now we are P3. There's been an 
incident on track resulting in loose debris. Fortunately, the marshals have managed to clear it up in time and there are no plans for a safety car right now. Car report. Okay, cut it up. Vehicle condition. No need to worry about tire condition for now. Everything's looking good. Good. Oh, wow. Lewis Hamilton's dropping like a rock. Here comes Boltas. Ooh, we made the mistake. Boltas is on it. Lewis Hamilton has dropped like a rock in this one. And he's got a problem, and we might have a safety car at this rate. Bottas might be a sitting duck. Ah, sugar plums. Lewis Hamilton has dropped like a rock. Bottas, look at the... We're going to get defensive. Now we're ahead of Bottas. Lewis Hamilton has had an absolute shocker of a race. We've completed the first lap and Hamilton has to make a pit stop. That's third in the driver's table. He has had an absolute shocker of a race. Now we're currently in P3. Haven't checked on our teammate yet. That was a cracker of a start by Lando. He jumped ahead of the Ferrari and now he's leading the Canadian Grand Prix. It's Norris in the leads and Sainz and us in P3, with, which is Annie Thomas. Valtteri Bottas and Danny Ricciardo, that is your top five. As we are going to complete lap number two of the 70 lap race. Here comes Valtteri Bottas. He's on the soft tire. Will he have a run on us? The answer is no, because we cut off and defend our spot. But now we'll get DRS here. Here comes Bottas. He's on the gearbox as we complete the third, DRS the second lap of this race. Lap. Ricardo got the fastest lap of the race. And in the DRS zone. But ultimately, those soft tires will go away as we round the corner a little wide. That's going to help Valtteri Bottas with a great run. Here he comes to the outside. We're going to defend the inside line. And we'll get the inside line covered. Bottas has to check up. Here comes Daniel Ricciardo all over the Mercedes. And Ricciardo has just jumped ahead of Valtteri Bottas. But Bottas is fighting back. But those two are not going to catch the... Catch Andy Thomas as a result. Now Daniel Ricciardo in ahead, but Bottas got the DRS. Fantastic racing so far here in Canada. As we ran wide, and Greg is jumping up and down and screaming like a like a bat boy. teammate by 4.9 seconds this has been a this has been a cracker of a start here in Canada of course we've dro been dropped because we are on the slow pace medium tires everyone around us is on softs but those soft tires only go 30 laps the mediums we're on can go 48 but with rain in the forecast this is going to get really interesting let's see where Lewis Hamilton is after that he is now all the way down in 21st Max Verstappen had to pit oh boy the two championship contenders from last season in real life have had an absolute nightmare of a start oh my word
I cannot believe the two championship contenders from last year in real life have had a dramatic start in this race. As Daniel Ricardo just pulled out in front of us and just brake checked us. What's on planets was he thinking? Should force him around the outside. I'm going to force him around the outside. As we try to be defensive around him, that's allowed Bottas to catch up. There's been an incident on track, but officials aren't looking to Oh, Ricardo, why did you touch us? <laughs> Excuse me. Toby, you're not blessed! Oh, Daniel Ricardo just pinched us wide. We take an aim at him. Bottas is going to get him. My word, this is a great battle for the final spot on the podium. We're not even... F oh! VSC is out. Well, that's going to help... Um, that's going to help... Uh, Well, there have been further incidents out on the track, so the officials are moving to a full safety car. Oh, this just got interesting. Now a full course safety car. The full safety car has been deployed. Oh, boy. Drop your speed. Our delta is too low and we risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. Oh, boy. Well, this race just got interesting. So we went from a VSC to now a full safety car. Well, this is going to definitely help Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton catch up. Didn't have a safety car in Baku. We now have a safety car here today in Montreal. None of the leaders pit under the Viet under the safety car. Heads up as we're about to almost run the back of the Ferrari of Carlos signs. That was not what Lando Norris wanted, but that's what we wanted because we were like falling behind. Mercedes, there's Hamilton. Is that Checo Perez back there? Yes, it is Checo Perez. My word, what is going on at Red Bull this early in the race?
safety car is in this lap. Safety car in this lap. Let's make sure those tyres are up to temperature and remember there is no overtaking until the timing line. Stay in position until the green flags. Just weaving back and forth, get some temperature in the tires. We don't go until we get to the uh Rain is forecast in just over ten minutes time. Rain in ten minutes. Yep, there you go. And now we get back to racing here as the safety car is gone. The green flag's back in the air. We're back to racing in Montreal. Are you okay? That was a big one. Confirm you're okay, please. Freaking, freaking Danny Ricardo made a move on us. Okay, slow down. Are slow you down. kidding me? Another safety car. Oh, Daniel Ricardo got a five-second time penalty. He must have hit us. Boy. Two safety cars were not even ten laps in. My word. What is this race become? Let's see. Yep. Caused the collision. Oh, that's going to kill Danny Riggs' race. Danny Ricardo will not be a happy camper. Not only that, he just committed female abuse. <laughs> oh, man. So both Hasses are out of this race. That sums up their nutshell of a season right there. And the second full course safety car has been deployed. Oh boy. And looks like Norris is going to make his pit stop. We'll stay out because we're on the mediums. So both passes are out in a spam of what? Two or three laps. Oh boy. What a race this has become. <laughs> Excuse us, or excuse me. So Carlos Sainz now. Strategy is available on the MFD. Understood. Copy that. Oh, we're gonna pit this lap. We're gonna go to the soft tires. Right, Coming at the end of this lap. Hmm. Should have called us to the pits a little sooner than that. 
So we're gonna bail the pit, get off these mediums, and get onto the soft tire. Eh, fine by me. That's gonna definitely, however, cost us track position. Don't have a choice. But now Danny Ricardo will have to still have to serve that five second penalty. That's gonna put him in the back. Well, as long as we comply with the regulations and get that out of the way, then we'll be all right. You have two stops remaining. Two stops remaining in the strategy. And we jumped ahead of Norris. Oh, Norris is going to be livid. We just undercut the former race leader. <laughs> uh, now we're on the fastest tire. Oh, dear. What has happened? Alonzo's out of the race. A serious car issue. It looks like they're retiring. Oh, dear. There's three out of the race. We're only a lap 11. <laughs> what has this race become? It's, this better be not like another Baku race. Okay, let's get ready to go racing again. The safety car is in this lap. When the field My word. <laughs> there is no overtaking until the green flags. Safety uh... car in this lap. This race cannot get weirder. But something tells me it's going to get weirder. Don't fall over, okay? Don't fall over. Just hold on to the wall, that would be better. He's gonna fall over eventually. Okay, clear. All right, let's get back up to racing speed. My God, let's just overtake. Oh, Lando's off because Lando tried to overtake us. Great maneuver. You made it look easy. Man, we're on fresher tires than these guys. We just got around the two title protagonists. Check your M M oh, for the love of Pete. Jeff, stop talking when I'm trying to overtake Guan Yu Zhou, you stupid engineer. God damn it. I was gonna do a little tactical move. Oh! Okay, you need to give that position back. That was an illegal. That was not there. illegal the overtaking. This. In loose debris. Fortunately, the marshals have managed to clear it up in time, and there are no plans. This is how you get. This right is now. how you get a pass on Checo Perez back the hard way, but Checo forced us wide. Checo's really not going to make this easier on us. Yeah, good idea, Cheka. You back off before you cause a wreck with me. The rain is a few laps out yet, but it is coming. Be careful. Gap to teammate ahead is 6.6. .6 I just want to get around Giovinazzi really quickly. We can get Giovinazzi here. <sighs> Giovinazzi, can you stop trying to cut in when I have a run on you, you stupid Italian idiot? Okay, stop hitting my car! I can't get the run on Giovinazzi. Damn it, Giovinazzi. Now I gotta force my way in there and I really don't wanna have to do it. Oh, I helped Checo get around him. 
We just went from like 19th to 13th in like a couple laps. Now we can get around Latifi here. If I get around Latifi here, we have it made, but we've cut the ground. Are you alright? Engine off, engine off. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop. I did not ask you to go the right, car. That was the controller who caused that. I was trying to get a run on Latifi until the controller did that. DRS has been enabled. DRS is now enabled. Alright, now we got in the round Latifi, but Latifi didn't want to make it easier on me. Now we're starting to storm our way back up to the front. Oh, I wanted to make a move on Lungard, but decided better off. So I would get the DRS. Not close enough. I'll wait till we get to the hairpin. Oh, I messed up that corner. Now to send one to the inside, and I got around him. Oh, but he's coming back. He used the Mercedes strategy. I had the pass made. Well, he's gonna drag me along. Is what's gonna happen. Jack is in the pit. Jack in the pit. Oh, that was gonna end in tears. Bottas is in. Ricardo serving his five-second time penalty. That's gonna put him well towards the back and who in the world's leading after all this it's Carlos Sainz as usual and Sainz is yet to pit didn't want to pass Stroll or we would take him out of his home race get around Stroll Tally ho car's Sweet. tight. Good job. Car got a little tight on me. Next up is Georgie. Oh car got in the wall. Vehicle condition. Tire condition is still looking good. Okay. Slight tap with the wall. Now we're behind the Williams of George Russell. And that's Yuki Sonoda just ahead. Now at DRS, we're just pulling away from Stroll. So now we're back up to fifth. Personal best by two tenths. So the pace really seems good on these tires. I'm glad we pitted under that safety car because there's the clouds and Gasly's gonna be screwed because here I come and I have DRS and he doesn't but I'm gonna get him in the hairpin I'm not gonna get him on this straightaway boy I'm gonna go ahead and make this dive right here And we get around him without much of a problem. And I get DRS for good measure. Shit.
That was the fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. And I slowed down for some reason. The gap to the car ahead is 7.2 seconds. And the two Ferraris have not stopped in this race. Probably because they're waiting for that rain to come. All these guys who just recently pitted, they're gonna get royally screwed because of the rain that's We're coming. Expecting some rain soon. Expect the first drops in the next few minutes. Okay, fitting intermediate tires next. Sainz is in, Leclerc stays out. I don't know why Science is coming in because that's not going to help Science's cause. This could hurt Science. This could actually help Lewis Hamilton and those guys who already pitted. Problem is for Hamilton is that if he pits now, he's going to be royally screwed over because of the fact that we got rain coming. Of course, our tires are a lot fresher than Lewis Hamilton, Checo Perez, and Max Verstappen. Gasly has yet to stop in this race. And there's the rain. That's really going to hurt Sainz. You're lapping around a second faster than the car ahead. Keep this up. Gap to teammate behind is 12.1 seconds. This is good for us and Leclerc because we both start on the mediums. I had to switch the softs, so that's really going to help us. If you're Charles Leclerc, do you pit now to get screwed over or do you pit for inters? I think we're going to pit for inters pretty soon. A new strategy is available on the MFD. Copy that. I think we're going to pit for intermediate tires. Yeah, the pace is starting to slow down. We're going to have to go to intermediates next. Confirming that we'll be fitting the intermediate tires. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Copy. Pitting this lap then. Come into the pits at the end of this lap. All right, will do. There it is, DRS disabled. Everybody who just recently pitted just got an automatic screw over. DRS has been disabled by the stewards. DRS will be offline. I'm not risking it. Time to pit for the inserts.
go, go. Jack is coming in for his stop. Well, Jack, so, yeah, we had a nice gap, so now we'll double stack, and that's going to not hurt our team. Oh, Verstappen and Ricardo, why did you stay out on the on dry tires? You guys are aft, big time. It's like our fastest lap will stay intact for the time being. That's going to hurt Verstappen and Ricardo. Especially Ricardo, because not only that five second time penalty hurted his efforts, that also is going to hurt him because that's going to, he's going to lose a lot of time. This is going to put Lewis Hamilton into P3. Yep, Verstappen and Ricardo knew it. They're going to be in big trouble. Six seconds. Okay, the gap behind is 9.6 seconds. No tight concerns at the moment, just focus on the driving. It's like we have a DRS issue on the car. I don't think that's going to be a concern because of the fact that um, we're on intermediates. We're leading our teammate by 19.0 seconds. Watch out for standing water. Inters seem like the fastest tire for now. See where's our teammate, because he is P9, so it didn't hurt him with the double stack, so. The rain's getting worse. Be very careful. Still happy that we're on the right tires at the moment.
boss is already um, already in the pack up mode. Our gap behind is eleven point seven seconds. Somehow we're catching the Ferrari. Don't know if the Ferrari just doesn't have any pace or we're just a lot quicker on the wets. Yeah, we're gaining on we're gaining on Leclerc. Pretty soon we need to claim that trophy from Azerbaijan. The car behind has started to drop back. There's a gap beginning to form. On the two seconds. Apparently, Leclerc is draining his battery a lot faster than us. itch on my shoulders. Remember Ferrari in real life, as we're catching uh, Charles Leclerc. Ferrari in real life had this race won, but the stewards penalizing uh, at the time Seb, who was driving for the team at the time, screwed Seb out of a win, gave Lewis Hamilton, who's in third, the win, and it sparked controversy. Now here we are in the F1 2021, my team. But instead of a Mercedes behind the Ferrari, it's our my team car behind the Ferrari.
trying to force shells into a mistake we keep getting ourselves into a situation mistake. is an interesting one but i think the right call is to stick with what we've got right now and we have just die bomb shells eclair and we lead the canadian grand prix Okay, good work. Great pass. Gotta cover LeClaire, but he's coming back! Gap to teammate behind is 30.3 seconds. We were the hunter, now we're being the hunted. Jack is in the pit, Jack in the pit. A new strategy is available on the MFD. Confirmed. Damn it. Okay, fitting the wet compound when you next come in. Confirmed, we'll receive you at the end of this lap. But you're doing it now. Now, we want to finish the race on this compound. Jack is coming in for his stop. It's getting lighter now, but it's going to take a while for the track to dry out.
losing a small amount of time to the car behind. Keep pushing. gap to the car behind is 2.9 seconds. behind us is 4.6 seconds.
full wet. Seem to be the fastest tyre for now. Okay, the gap behind is 5.9 seconds. Definitely think we need to stay on this tyre a bit longer, but there's no question that the track is drying. We might be in a position to change soon. Increasing the gap on the car behind by five tenths per lap. The radar is showing a clear patch on its way. There's about 10 more minutes of this rain. Full wet seem like the best tyre for now. OK, we'll fit inters on your next stop. Doing well out there, keep it up. We're looking at about 10 more minutes of rain. 10 minutes. The body's taken a little... Our gap behind is 6.4 seconds.
Stewart coming in for Inters. It's touch and go, but could be worth the risk. We'll be ready if you want to box. Understood, stopping this lap. Jack is in the pit. Jack in the pit. Okay, I reckon we could probably get away with intermediate tyres now. You're going to find it harder and harder to keep the wets cool from here, but the inter should be easier. Release, release. And we're still going to keep the lead, so that's good. really feels like it has a lot of grip. The gap to the car behind is 6.0 seconds. We're looking at another five. Look like the best tire for now.
it's not a perfect situation, but I don't think we have cause to move on to a different tyre yet. Okay, I think the track will be drying out quite soon. Mind you, don't burn out your tires. Okay, some information on Perez. Seems like there's some kind of problem with their car. is 7.9 seconds. We don't currently have the data for that request. Affirmative, medium tires at the next stop. Strategy is available on the MFT. Got that confirmed. Okay, we can take you this lap. Oops. Jack is coming in for a stop.
Exit now. Up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tires. Jack is in the pit. Jack in the pit. They goofed, didn't they? Yep. All right. Come on, Jack, you need to back off. Leclerc has set the fastest lap of the race so far. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Pick. We gotta use the battery because our teammate's gonna pass us. Oh, our teammate screwed us. Our teammate screwed us. Now our teammate's gonna be really impatient. Oh, 
I'm trying to hang on. Sight hit us. Sight does not want us to win. He should be penalized. Sites wants to get back on the lead lap. Here we go. Oh, Sites hit us! He hit us! Sites is gonna get smacked! This is helping Charles Leclerc and Ferrari are going to be very upset. Sainz has got damage. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with Jack Aiken after that. When your teammates in the lead of the race, let them go. Time to go smack Jack Aikens, because he was being a bad teammate. That's going to upset Annie really quick. And not only that, that's helping Charles Leclerc catching up. And Leclerc is using the dead cub strategy and trying to make sure Annie does not win this race. And she got screwed by her teammate. And the Ferrari fans are going wild and there's a penalty flag. Trying to catch up to our teammate. Annie cannot believe this. Her teammate did not follow team orders, decided to be a nuisance, and hold us up for absolutely no reason. Annie is going to be disgusted with Jack Aiken after this one. But now the question is, can she hold off LeClaire? If Annie Thomas loses this race, she is going to be furious at Aiken, and I don't blame her. She's telling Jack Aiken, what are you doing, May? You're I'm trying to win this race and you're not helping you're not doing our our hopes any favors by that. My God. Oh, got wide. Here comes LeClaire. LeClaire's using up his battery. He's trying to make sure we get screwed over. The crowd's going wild. Greg is booing. CJ's booing too!
Oh, here comes LeClaire. This is the battle for... But they got lap traffic coming up in Esteban Ocon. Traffic coming up for the leaders. That's Esteban Ocon. This is like Mercedes Ferrari 2019 in real life, except it's a my team car versus a Ferrari. God. God damn it. John? It's mono to mono. Oh, Thomas, slow down. Here comes Leclerc. It's Australia versus Monaco in the Canadian Grand Prix. Oh, that was close. This is the craziest race we're about to have. And we're coming to 10 laps to go in the Canadian Grand Prix. Oh, that was close. Here comes Leclerc. Here we come. Oh, there's contact. Contact. More contact. That might have just sealed it. No issues with tire wear for that. Ow, I got an itch on my deal. Nope. Keep taking care of them. That might have just sealed it right there.
Yeah, with the comfortable gap we have over Lecle over Gasly, we'll be all right. Like they also fixed the DRS during the rain. Damn it. What? Oh, hi, Brian. Hi. <laughs> hmm? I don't go in till two. Yeah. Oh, Monday and Thursday is going to be a bitch. You know why? Because I have to be there at 10, you get off at 5, I get off at 5. So, I'm going to have to see if I can stay an extra 30 minutes or so.
Yeah. Yeah, I was not expecting to have a new roommate yesterday, if you ask me. For those of you that. You know, well, he's new to this house, is what I meant to say. Well, I've never met him, so. Yeah, he's already put a damn hole in the wall, if you didn't see. So now we're gonna have to fix the wall. That was when he was trying to play pool and then he fell over. Got five laps of this Canadian Grand Prix to go. Bet Lewis Hamilton did damage limitation as far as the Drivers' Championship is concerned. But in terms of the Constructors' Championship, we might be in a tie for the Constructors. And Valtteri Bottas want, trying to unlap himself, but the problem is he would need a miracle to even do that. Yeah, and Leclerc I don't think is going to catch us. Unless we do something really stupid. Ooh, made that mistake. I knew that was going to happen. God damn it, Bottas, you freaking idiot! Bottas, when I'm trying to make the corner, that doesn't mean hit the damn car, you stupid idiot! I'm gonna smack you in about three seconds. God, Bottas is now starting to be an idiot. First it was my teammate, now Boltas is acting like an idiot. What the hell is next? Yeah, but the problem is I don't get off till 10 tonight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So something tells me in the back of my mind John is going to end up having to go go with the staff to pick me up. You know what I mean? Damn it, made a mistake through the freaking chicane. That was not what I needed. And Botas is acting like a douchebag. Okay, Botas, that was an idiotic move you just did there, you stupid idiot. Go, 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 go. And you just took out my teammate. Good job, Botas, you stupid asshole. We've been informed of an incident which has resulted in lots of loose debris on the track. The safety car is being deployed. God damn it, Botas, you sorry son of a bitch. Repeat that. Nice job, Botas. Not only you took out the damn race leader, which was me, you took out my damn teammate, you moron! That was not what I wanted to see. I did not want a safety car. Hey, slow down, slow down. This might end the race. Needed, which means you are too fast. Reduce your pace. Wh when we cross the line, it'll be three to go. This might have been the race. Oh, boy. Time for me to go smack Botas after this race. Or Jeff, or Jeff, our engineer can do that. Jack My. stopped out of the race. Yeah, because Botas can't be stupid enough to be patient when I'm trying to make the damn corner. 
because he's a freaking idiot for causing that wreck. He took our freaking teammate out because he's an asshole. God damn. I don't know what the hell is wrong with Merc, but my god. You got a bunch of assholes on that team. That's a shame for Jack, because he was having a great run until that happened. We're coming up to the safety car now. Do not pass it. Uh, Follow the safety car. Now we can say Mercedes versus our team has happened in the Canadian GP, and this might have just ended the race. Because Boltas can't be patient enough to wait until we get to a straightaway, then I can let him go. But no, he wanted to die bomb me and take us out for absolutely no reason. That's the second back marker that's been rude to us this, this race. First, our teammate was being a nuisance because I was trying to pull, or should I say Annie was trying to pull away and get away from LeClaire. Safety car is in this lap. Oh car my this gosh. Lap. Controlling the pace on the Two lap dash and the field's not the even lane. dash. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. This is Abu Dhabi 2021 in my team all over again. Michael Massey, what the hell are you doing? This is the real life Abu Dhabi Grand Prix all over again. My God. Oh my God. This has screwed everything up. Green flag. This is a green white checker. How the hell? Gap behind is 2.2 seconds. I don't know how the hell that incident got cleaned up that quick. I'm really puzzled. I was thinking that was going to end the race. Hell no! That was only one lap behind the safety car! What the hell is this race? This is not Abu Dhabi, for God's sakes! Okay, we could definitely say we've had three safety cars and a weird ass finish. What the hell? Oh, Botas is going to have some explaining to do after this race. And Jack Aiken, too. My God. What the hell was this race? This is probably the most screwed up race ever since back of the 2019 career mode. When only 10 cars finished this race. My God. Should have waited for the field to uh, been formed up behind the safety car, but no, Michael Massey wanted to get everything. This race became the real life version of Abu Dhabi. If we can hold off Leclerc here, that would be immensely great. We did not want to see that safety car come out towards the end of this race. I was not expecting a 70 lap race in Canada would have three safety cars. J-O-K-E, but whatever. We win the Canadian Grand Prix, but what the hell was that all about, Michael Massey? That's a race win and your second race win in a row. Fantastic job. That was ridiculous. They take the checkered flag then here in Canada in what has been another fabulous Grand Prix. That was a cluster, hell, that's what it was. This result, do you think? 
a reliable car. That was the most important factor here. This was a real battle of attrition, and you could tell those at the front were trying to find a balance between running their outright pace and taking care of the car to reach the end. What won us the race was our pass on Leclerc. Well, what a thrilling end to an incredible Grand Prix weekend. Our top three finishers. That's not going to be a pleasant meeting between those two. Have a good day, Brian. The hell was that race? That was a shit show. Thomas increases their championship lead. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? Well, there was a lot of incredible driving out there today, Crofty, but if I had to pick someone, it's got to be Sergio Perez. Fantastic driving. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. The owner-driver's team moved to the top of the table. Meanwhile, Ferrari have improved their position. A strong weekend from them as they fight their way towards the top. It's been an absolutely wild weekend of Formula One action. I can't wait to see what's next. I can't wait to see what the hell Andy Thomas is going to do to the goddamn Toto Wolf. That's for damn sure, asshole. Oh, Andy Thomas is, is probably going to be livid after this one. Amazing but that was not Jack's fault. Sure that was Baltas being, being, being an idiot, pulled a fucking Ocon. What made the difference this time around? It wasn't the cleanest race today, was it? Appreciate your time. Well, that was a shit show of a race. Even though we won this race and our second win in a row, but that was that was a joke. I mean, what in the hell was goddamn Baltas thinking? Thinking, okay, let's dive bomb the damn race later. I mean, seriously. Well, I can't wait to see what people are going to say in the comments section of this stream, or or this video if you're watching it on YouTube, so. That was a joke, but nevertheless, we ended up still with the victory, disappointed for Jack, even though Jack's got some explaining to do on why the hell he decided to be a jackass to us. And don't say an F word, because I'm not in the mood to even go there. And if you give me a, and if you start causing lying points, I will start giving you contempt. <sighs> that was totally ridiculous. Our new parts have completed without issue. They'll be on the car ready for the next race weekend. Finally, some good news. It's entirely up to you how we handle this. Thanks. I know these kind of decisions can be challenging, but I think you made the right call. I'll take the team acclaim any time. Um, I don't think we have anything to upgrade. Except we maxed out the brakes. Now I believe the entire car has been upgraded. Okay, we've had the new parts come through the fabrication process. We'll have them with us for the next Grand Prix. Well, that was a fun shit show of a race, but nevertheless, that was a entertaining Canadian Grand Prix. But uh, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you in France. Take it easy.